Hi there, this is Russ Drury from the Success Crew here at Zeppelin. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the members workspace and look at how we can invite individuals to that workspace and give them roles and permissions. Now, the first really important thing you need to know is this can only be managed via the web app. So if you normally use the desktop app, you'll want to hop into a web browser and fire up Zeppelin there. Now I'm just working in the Enzyme workspace here and you'll be familiar with this workspace if you're a general worker. The admin will have access to the members workspace by clicking on the avatar in the top right hand corner. That will then give them a list of all workspaces they are a member of. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the Enzyme workspace here where we can manage the members. Now you can see here that I'm the only individual in this workspace at the moment. I'm down as a, an owner and that we have 12 seats available to us. Now, if we wanted to add additional licenses to this workspace and you are on the organization subscription plan, then you can do that by clicking on the add more button in the top right hand corner. This will take you through to the billing page where you can then add additional seats. You can specify how many additional seats you want to add and it will give you a summary of how much that will cost and how much you're charged either on a monthly or an annual basis. And that will then take effect at the uh, next billing cycle. Now I have enough uh, members and licenses here at the moment. I need to populate some of these. So what I'm gonna do is invite additional people to this workspace. And when I click on the blue invite members button in the top right hand corner, we'll be prompted to enter the email address or username of a new member. So I'm gonna go ahead and invite Sally at zeppelin.io to this workspace. We're then given the option of four roles. The first one, the admin user, basically gives you access to do anything in uh, Zeppelin, and that should really be reserved for just a few individuals who are gonna administer the workspace. Underneath that, we have the editor role, and the editor role is typically assigned to a designer or someone in a similar role who would need to create and edit projects and style guides. So those would be people who would be uploading designs, creating new projects, and be the owners of work in the system. Underneath that, we have the developer role. They can almost do the same as what an editor can. The only difference is they cannot create projects and style guides, neither can they uh, manage those and edit them if they've already been created. So really a developer role is there for individuals who need to view the project, but also access code snippets and technical specifications and any other assets that might be associated with that project. And then the last role that you have on the list is the reviewer, which is a free role. It doesn't take up one of your uh, purchased seats, but it only gives you access to view a project and to add notes to that project. So in this case with Sally, I'm gonna go and create a, an editor role. And then underneath that, we have the ability to identify what access permissions we want to give Sally. We can either give her access to view all projects that are in the workspace, and she could join them freely. Or alternatively, we could select invited only, in which case she would only be able to see projects that someone had specifically invited her to. Now, as she's an editor, I don't mind, she's gonna have all project access. I'm gonna invite Sally, and she will receive an email in her inbox where she will complete the registration process, where she'll essentially verify her email address, but also she'll create a new username if it's the first time she's ever used Zeppelin. And then once she uh, finishes that process, she'll come in and she will then have the access as a, an editor viewing all projects in the system.